Hey, thank you all. Uh, it's an honor and privilege to be up here with you this morning as I was last year. Uh, some of you uh, have asked me, where is my Steelers tie? And, and I wanted you to know that out of a sense of compassion in this season, <laughs> I chose not to wear my tie. For those of you uh, Broncos fans who may be feeling a sense of loss and pain, perhaps, maybe, maybe a sense of humiliation, I don't know. Uh, I hope you uh, appreciate that, that expression of love that I have for you by not wearing my tie. Um, that beyond the fact, uh, it's so great to be up here as a representative of the 43,000 students of the Aurora Public Schools. Uh, in our core beliefs and our strategic plan, we expressed the idea that this community reflected back to us that diversity is a strength in our community. And we know that, and we're so proud to be part of a community that not only comes together to celebrate on a day or celebrate uh, this, this concept, but really wants to launch it to a broader, uh, broader feeling, a broader sense of community. And there was a great example of that last year at this program when uh, we were approached by community members led by Reed Hedick and others to really talk about how do we use this event in this season to launch into a greater sense of service for our community. This is Kenneth Death with your Colfax yes. News, and I am here today with Superintendent Rico Mund. Is that correct? Correct. And last year, at this time, you guys kicked off a project called Ignite. And it was an initiative to get some kids graduated that didn't have a projected opportunity to graduate from Central High School. Is that correct? That's correct. We had a number of students who were really on the bubble and needed that extra support push to make it across the stage in May. Okay. Yeah, we were very excited that the community came together and really supported our students. So we had a number of volunteers turn out, I believe 60 to 70 volunteers come out and mentor those students to really help them stay focused and get the support they needed. And because of that, we had an additional 60 students that we would have projected graduate in May, then another 17 who were able to graduate uh, in December and more who are now on track to graduate this coming year. That is absolutely awesome. Pastor Reed talked about a new project that you had um, that you guys are going to put together called Unite. Are you a part of that particular project? Well, we're not a central part of that. We're just another community member who you know, will learn more about the project and see if there are ways that we can connect to it. But it's not an initiative that we're a key partner in. Okay, so if anybody wanted to get involved with continuing the efforts to get students graduated or further into higher education, how would they get involved with that? The best way really is to reach out directly to the school through Laura Central. We have a number of community partners that we work with through a variety of programs, for example, Goodwill and others who do have different metric programs, different way of connecting students. And we can really pair people up with some of those programs that match what their needs are, what their resources and availability are to help our students. Okay. And on a side note, can you tell me what happened to the Steelers? <laughs> We're headed to Kansas City. All right, brother. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for taking time to talk with me. You can see this interview and more on the Your Colfax News station. You can hear it on our newly created Your Colfax News radio station. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your interest.